What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and it's King Collar Thursday again. We have got Zico, Battle Shooter and King Collar back with the National Attackers Epic Pack. Right now, Zico is definitely a great player. We're going to show you a build for him. We're actually going to show you kind of where Zico can fit in because there's a lot of attack midfielders in the game that are really, really strong. Zico is definitely somebody that I used a lot of at the start. And then I kind of veered away from him, obviously just testing things out, you know, but he's definitely top tier. And it is nice that people will get a chance to be able to spin for him again. And obviously, if you are going to be spinning for him, you're probably going to be going for like two out of the three players, or maybe the three. Now, Batistuta, for me, I just feel like Batistuta is just, yeah, he's just a little bit too clunky. I mean, obviously, if you're playing a target man, it's different because you're used to playing clunky target men. But nobody plays these kind of players anymore. I would say as well with Collar, that's, listen, you know how I feel about the king, right? Mr. Massive Schlang himself, the King Collar, absolutely unbelievable. Um, and I do feel like that he is probably the best knock-on player in the game, apart from the bullet headers, right? Now, I feel like with Collar as well, I think I've scored nearly a goal a game with him. But it is based on kind of like where I'm, you know, how I'm playing with him, how I'm using him, how I'm using him effectively. Um, and I definitely do feel that they've probably released this pack because it's just been so long since they released it, right? Now, this period is also added with the J-League monthly MVPs. And of course, the National Guardians are there as well. So that is the packs there. Obviously, we still have the login bonus going on as well. And we have the downloads campaign that's going to be running for another week. So this time next week, that downloads campaign is going to be gone. And listen, boys, nothing is going to be massively changed, I don't think, until next season. And what I mean by next season is with eFootball or eFootball 25, depending on what you're calling it. They have added a new player of the week as well. So this is back with a slightly new modified card version uh, compared to last season's one. It's just slightly modified. They've kind of switched around a little bit. To be honest, it looks probably a bit nicer, to be honest. Um, many times I'm going to say it, to be honest. Uh, Kovacic is there. Xerxy is there. He gets his first card for Manchester United. He looks pretty decent in the game. He's back on A form. You can't train these cards, obviously, but he does have Striker's Instinct for plus three. And, of course, he does have Super Sub Fighting Spirit, first time shot, one touch pass, Soul Control. It's a nice card, Acrobatic Finishing. It is actually a nice card. Attacking Awareness, it's going to go over 90. You're going to have the fi Finishing over 90. The big difference with this card, lads, or the big problem with this card compared to most is going to be the fact that he has got poor dribbling and poor balance and tight possession. And they're going to cause a little bit of concern if you're used to playing with other deep line forwards that come early to collect the ball, right? So, yeah, it's not the best card there. Lewandowski is going to suffer from the same issue. He's just a little bit too slow and clunky, and it just doesn't suit the game. That's basically where what it comes down to. You know, people want to use cards that are overpowered. They don't want to use cards. The majority of people don't want to use cards to test them out or to try something different. Some people do, but most of the time, it's if a card is meta or not. Um, and I do think that there are a couple of nice ones in here. Sack is always a nice card that can play left back to right wing. Very, very decent stats. Obviously, he doesn't get the booster. Um, but I do like Saka. I do like the card. And I do think that a lot of people kind of sleep on him. Defensively, he's not great. But this card is actually going to have 72, 74 aggression or whatever it is with your manager boost. Acceleration's good. Balance, type possession, dribbling, lofted pass. Very decent card. Speed and stamina. Very decent card. And then, of course, we have Mo, 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 Salah. Down as a whole player, but he can't play AMF. So, yeah, that's a bit of a funky one. Um, it's funky in a way that, like, he's not going to really benefit from playing through the middle as a whole player. Speed, acceleration, kick and power, balance, stamina. I know whole players can really play anywhere. Um, but I definitely think you need to train this guy up a little bit. And I think it kind of confirms what I've been saying for months is that Konami are always going to like want you to train these players. But the problem with player of the weeks is that you can't train them. So it kind of, I think that needs to be taught out a little bit more as well. Because I do feel like that this Salah as an AMF could have been absolutely insane. Or even as an SS, a deep SS. Matoma is there as well. I won't spend too long on these boys. Matoma is there as well. Uh, Fujimoto, this guy here is nice as well. He's actually a decent car with a booster. Um, he gets technique plus two uh, or plus three. And that's obviously tied to the live update, which is back now as well. Sally gets true pass and long range shooting from Kovacic and then Mamgula with the long range curler. Listen, player of the week is what it is. There isn't going to be anything massively changed until the, the next eFootball update, okay? And that's what you're going to have here. You've got the J-League monthlies as well. You've got Zico and Collar, and you've got the Worldwide. These are going to be over on the Monday, and they're probably going to add new cards. And this is also going to be ending in six days. So in seven days' time, was in, like, next Thursday, these are all going to be changed, right? Events are pretty much the same as well. They haven't really added anything there either. And these downloads here are these what they're talking about here. Uh, there isn't any new information based on this in-game at all, right? So nothing in-game from the in-game menu here.
Listen, it's just, as we, as we know, lads, there isn't going to be massive changes until the next big update, which is going to be V4.0, when eFootball24 just simply becomes eFootball. Now, I've seen a lot of people ask me as well about different questions. I'm going to do a video on what's going to kind of like be changing for eFootball going forward. Um, but other than that, man, it's just going to be rinse and repeat. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not that like hard to understand, I think, why they're kind of holding things back, honestly. Um, you know, obviously, I want to see new content every day. I want to see new modes come for the new, the new game. But I do think that the first three to six months of eFootball is going to be more of the same with kind of slightly new stuff added or a couple of tweaks to things. I just want to see something to play for because at the moment, there isn't really anything to play for. Like once you have your team, you're kind of set. You know what I mean? Now, we did have Collar and we did have Zico from this pack before. And Collar to me, lads, is definitely a player that can play in any formation or any system. Um, I'm going to show you here just a couple of little bits and pieces with these cards, right? So, I mean, if you look at Collar here, we've 229 matches played with him, 162 goals scored with him, and 44 assists. So we're roughly just about a goal or assist. Pretty much like 90% of the matches that we play. We have him trained up quite nicely with additional skills. And that's what he is, man. He's just a pure battering ram. That's kind of what you need to use these cards for. Now, I'll do a full review and a full build of Collar, Batistuta, and of course Zico as well from the Epics pack. But it is all about Collar for me. I think he is definitely one of the most unique cards in the game. Um, let me know what you guys think. But until then, we'll be back on the live stream in a little bit. Are you disappointed with this week or are you kind of knowing that it's going to be this until eFootball 25 launches? Let me know what you guys think. I'll be back in a little bit with the live stream. Hope to see you in the chat and let me know in the comments below what you think of these players.